Morning guys. So it's July 20th, 2024. Saturday here in Rusty, Rhode Island. So I made these uh, pieces out of an old shelf, uh, like a metal shelving. Added on this piece of rubber or door edge molding on the back side of it where it touches up against the fender. Made these up yesterday and I put a coat of blue on them. So pretty much uh, two cans of orange went on to the cab. You can see now that the red is gone and it's got the orange patina. And between the bed and the cab they seem to match now. Like I said, I was noticing that the cab looked more red. Now I've got that orange on there. Over time, it'll patina a little more as the stuff from underneath bleeds through. You can see I've put this piece on. It's bolted through here. I still have to make a small piece underneath to attach there. I don't know if you can see my, uh, you can see my crappy body work on the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, I'm terrible about not finishing areas that you can't see. But I did kind of build this in a rush. I don't know how the colors show up on the shady side as far as uh, much as to, when to the eye you can see it, you know, better in the sun. But on camera, I notice that even the orange still kind of looks sort of reddish on camera. I remember reading that with the Dukes, Dukes of Hazard, that even though that car looked orange on TV, it was actually painted red. If you guys remember that General Lee car. So I'm gonna get up underneath. And I'm gonna install this second piece and put some paint on it. And we'll take a peek. So like I said, this metal was from an old shelf. And the bolts that I'm using were actually the uh, the bolts that held the shelf together. So totally reuse. Oops. <laughs> so like I said, I have to uh, attach this here to the bottom. I'm gonna make a piece that's gonna attach the two. I'm gonna work on that now. I'm basically just gonna use self tappers with a piece of flat to hold it in place. And, uh, that should do the trick for me. All right, so just putting the uh, second blue on now. I used two different blues on these fenders. I used a lighter and a darker blue. This is a machine implement international blue gloss. But then there was just a lighter blue that I'm gonna put over the top of that. And what it does is it gives it that faded look like the, cause you can see the, again, it's hard to see it on camera. If you're up close, you can see that you got different the blue looks like it's faded, the darker blue faded to a lighter blue. And that's again the effect I was looking for for the patina. But you can see I've got that area filled in now. I still got to make the pieces to go on the bottom, but they're just little tabs with a couple of self tappers going through. But that's going to uh, clean that up, finish filling that area. You can see. Uh, how the blue from underneath has bled through the rust now it's starting to bleed through here and there I painted this now this it's been out in the weather you know all winter last winter so it got uh, snow and everything stacked up on it but we're looking pretty good you can see on the bumper how it rotted rusted back through may say Ooh, why would you want rust well it's a rust it's a rat rod it's supposed to have rust it's again it's supposed to look like I just dragged this thing out of somebody's barn or something you know that's the whole idea for this class of vehicle it's a 
a barn find, you know. And most of those, you just get them running and drag them like they are. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on here in Rusty Rhode Island. Out. Talk to you all later.